Welcome into Chicago Bears Now. I'm your host, Harrison Graham, self-producing from home today, but we got a five-pack of Bears rumors to get into, and guess what? We're starting with Carson Wentz again. Are the Bears frontrunners to land Carson Wentz in a trade? I'm going to give this one three smoking J's. I think it's pretty likely right now, and I think as of now, they are the frontrunners to land Carson Wentz, which maybe isn't the biggest shocker based on what we talked about yesterday. So now, Albert Breer hopped on a Colin Coward show, uh, show at Fox Sports 1, and uh, obviously we know that the Eagles still plan on trading Wentz. Breer went out and said that Chicago is the front runner. Now, as we discussed yesterday, the Eagles and Wentz would prefer a trade to the Colts, but maybe putting two and two together based on what we knew yesterday and what's now coming out, maybe the Bears are the front runners because if the Eagles were and if they had a trade they liked from the Eagles, he would be gone by now because they would prefer to send Carson Wentz to the AFC rather than to keep him in the NFC with the Chicago Bears. And it's pretty well known at this point that Wentz would prefer to play for uh, Indianapolis over Chicago. So here's what Breer had to say in further detail. I think the issue right now is where Carson Wentz wants to go. I think it become pretty clear that he'd rather go to Indianapolis and I think part of it now for the Eagles is all right if we need our bet if our best return is Chicago over Indy then we need to convince Carson Waste this is the only place that you are going now here's what we know uh number one the, e the Eagles will trade Carson Wentz. They will trade him by March 19th. And the reason is because he gets a $10 million bonus on March 19th. So we know that. But will the Bears land him? That's what we don't know. Obviously, the Eagles are holding out for a bigger offer, preferably from Indianapolis. But I think as we sit of now and the longer this goes, the more it looks like that Chicago is the front runner for Carson Wentz, which is obviously a very, very interesting development. I'm not going to say it's good or bad because there's just so much unknown with Carson Wentz, which is why I've been hesitant from the start. Now, I think I've gotten to the point, if you can get Carson Wentz for less than a first round pick, I'm probably on board uh, to at least explore that because it seems more and more likely that at this point, Deshaun Watson is just a, a pipe dream for Chicago. They don't believe they can get him. So then get Wentz for a second. I guess you could talk me into it. But as of now, it looks like they are probably the front runners to land Carson Wentz, Wentz, which, like I said, is a very, very interesting development at this point in time. So, pinned comment on today's video. Where will Wentz play in 2021? I think it's down to these two teams. Type CHI for Chicago. Type IND for the Indianapolis Colts. You might get hit with the ad break uh, here. If you do, go ahead and scroll on down and answer this question. Where will Carson Wentz play next season? Now get subscribed to the channel. we got the latest Chicago Bears news and rumors for you guys. Updates, quarterback chatter. We cover it all here on Chicago Bears. Now get subscribed. Let's get to, uh, what are we at? Uh, 23,000. Let's get to 23, 24,000 as soon as possible. Like I said, the latest news and rumors. We're trying to get to 23,000. Producer just told me in my ear. Let's get there as soon as as possible 100 free all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and hey we'll do the rest for you guys we'll continue to plug out videos every single day more on wentz can the bears fix Ch carson wentz if they trade for him i'll give it two smoking jays and the ultimatum here is i don't know maybe maybe not here's a quote from albert breer again with colin cowherd saying i think chicago is the front runner this morning and i do know there is feeling inside that building from ryan pace the coaching staff matt Nagy, john de filippo they believe mechanically that they can fix them and i think that is significant here because a couple of things number one john de filippo's fingerprints are, are all over this situation. And I've said that really throughout this process is for, to trade for Carson Wentz, I believe Filippo ha has influence and has a, a voice at the table in terms of what this team is doing at quarterback. He has a relationship with Carson Wentz. Wentz played well under him when he was uh, the quarterback's coach in Philadelphia. I think Filippo's voice is being heard within that building as they look at this situation. So let's say they do trade for Carson Wentz. This is going to go one of two ways. And number one, the Bears will have to blow it up because it won't work and you're going to be stuck with a bad contract that looks like uh, this when I uh, pull it up on screen for you guys. It looks like this. 
25 million this year, uh, over 22 million the next three years, and then he's a free agent in 2025. Sure, you can get out of that contract with you know fairly limited cap hit, but you're going to have to blow it up if things do not work out in your favor if you trade for Carson Wentz and he does not play well. Scenario number two. The Bears will be contenders and all will be well. That is the other scenario, and that is what the Bears are banking on, right? They are banking on getting Carson Wentz in here, working on fixing his mechanics, and hoping he can get back to this Carson Wentz, the version we saw prior to 2020. That is what Matt Nagy is banking on. That is what Ryan Pace is banking on. Both those jobs are on the line. John Filippo is probably pitching that as well. Getting Carson Wentz back to an MVP level is what you're hoping for. It's what you're praying for. It's what you're talking yourself into if you trade for Carson Wentz. Because let's be honest, if this doesn't go well, not only are the Bears uh, going to have to blow it up, that doesn't just mean the roster. That means the coaching staff as well. So Nagy, Pace, the whole scenario, they're all living or dying for Carson Wentz if they do get him. So which scenario is more likely? Number one, the disaster. You have to blow it up. Uh, type one, if uh, you think that's the more likely outcome if Wentz is on the Bears. Or type two, if you think the Bears become contenders because of Carson Wentz. One of two things will happen. I don't think it'll be in between. It'll be one or the other. So go ahead, get your votes in. Let me know which one you guys think it'll be. Now, we do have Chicago Bears face masks on sale, and these keep you warm. Look, in Texas, the reason I'm uh, filming at home the past day or two is because we got like six inches of snow and uh, power outages, all kinds of stuff. I'm still finding ways to get uh, videos up for you guys, but face masks, they're going to keep you warm as well. They don't just uh, uh, protect you from sicknesses, uh, illnesses. They, uh, they'll keep you warm. Trust me on that one. And a lot of these are up to 75% off. Go to chatsports.com slash bears masks chatsports.com slash bears masks give yourself a chicago bears face covering because it'll keep you safe and it'll keep you warm over the next weeks and months until we get into the spring and into the summer all right by the way that link is in the comments and in the description how about an alan Ro robinson tag and trade we talked robinson yesterday but we'll dive deeper here uh, I'm going to go two smoking Jays. It's definitely possible. And if you don't think it's possible, get your head straight because it's at least a possibility. That's why it's more than one smoking J. Uh, Tom P Pelissero spoke on, about Robinson uh, earlier today. I said, look, Bears and A-Rob haven't had contract talks since September. We pretty much knew that already, but that is a more specific timeline. Tagging Robinson, like we discussed yesterday, pretty likely at this point. Not four smoking Jays on that one, but like three, three and a half. Uh, two smoking Jays on a tag and trade scenario, though. You cannot rule it out at this point in time. If you're sitting at home saying, oh, there's no way. There's a chance. Trust me on that one. I would be disappointed. I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't be a fan of it because Allen Robinson is a true elite number one receiver. And if you're trying to win now, I believe you should keep him here. But if you don't think it's at least a possibility, I think you're wrong. Here's Pelissero having to say this, NFL Network. Whether the Bears try to do an extension, whether it's setting up Robinson to play on the tag, or maybe even a tag and trade scenario, and uh, we'll see. I really hope it does not come down to this because you guys know how I feel about Allen Robinson. I'm a huge fan. I think uh, he will be a big reason in the Bears taking that step forward if and when they find the right quarterback. I just hope they are able to do that, bring a quarterback in here, re-sign Allen Robinson, hashtag sign IR. You guys know the drill. I just don't want to see him in a different uniform, but like I said, it's at least a possibility at this point in time. Will A-Rob be on the Bears in 2021? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Get your votes in. Will Robinson be in Chicago next year? Still going to type my Y for yes. But I'm not 100% confident. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Okay, Eddie Goldman returning in 2021. Sean Desai had his introductory press conference as the Bears' new GM. Talked about this and various other things. We'll focus on this for now. Uh, three smoking Jays. It's pretty likely. Now, the reason I can't give it four smoking Jays is because uh, we haven't actually heard from Eddie Goldman. Neither has Sean Desai. Uh, obviously, he opted out last year due to COVID-19, took his $150,000 stipend, contract rolls over. Uh, Desai said, we believe he'll want to play, but acknowledged that he hasn't heard from Goldman and isn't sure when he will hear from him. Now, the Bears really missed Eddie Goldman last season. I think that uh, was obvious, especially as the season went on and depth became a challenge especially against the run game. I think there's no doubt about that. Getting him back will be critical, in my opinion, and especially if he's at the level he once was. Not a huge raw stats type of guy. Like, he's not going to have six, eight sacks or something like that, but he stuffs the run. He eats up blockers. This Bears defense simply uh, struggled without him. 
There, there's just no way around it. Too many holes. I think it. Uh, I think it was a big reason why Danny Trevathan started uh, the season slow is because he was having to cover more ground in space. And uh, you have a good nose tackle in there. It frees up those linebackers to do a little bit more. So hopefully he is back. I think he will be. I don't see why he wouldn't want to be unless he's going to retire or something like that. But uh, can't give it some more four smoking Jays. But at this point in time, I'm comfortable giving it three. I think it's pretty likely he will return next season. So, type one, type two, yes or no? Will Eddie Goldman be back for the 2021 NFL season? I'm going to type my one. I'm pretty confident he will be. Can't say with absolute certainty, like I said, but uh, I feel pretty good. I think Eddie Goldman will likely return next season. But get your votes in, type one for yes or type two for no. One more here, more on Sean Desai. Do the Bears' defense need a just a tune-up, not a, a complete overhaul? I'm going to go two smoking Jays here. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that I think this Bears defense needs a complete overall. Because that's not the case. This is still a solid defense. But I think it needs a little bit more than a tune-up. Here's what Desai had to say. This is like a tune-up. We're going to re refine some things and make sure players are playing to their strengths. But we've got a good defense. We've got really good players. There was some regression, but we're going to overcome that. I wish I would have heard more specifics on how uh, he plans on overcoming those regressions. Uh, what are some of those uh, regressions? How about not being able to force as many turnovers? I think... The defense needs to be more aggressive moving forward. Uh, I, I talked about that when Pagano retired. Uh, I thought he got stale. Uh, bring four, drop seven. It seemed like that happened 90% of the time. I think we need more blitzes. I think, we more, uh, I think the Bears need more uh, disguises, especially in their secondary. More aggressive nature, a la Todd Bowles, uh, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is something I would like to see. Also, how about this? I think aggression leads to more takeaways. 2018, 36 takeaways. Last two seasons combined, 37. That is a very big difference, in my opinion, uh, and it, it shouldn't be a shocker, right? You guys see the numbers. Like, you got to take the football away. You have to get after the quarterback, and the Bears haven't done that as well the past two seasons. Still good. Like Desai said, this is a fringe top 10 defense. Uh, scoring, I, I would be comfortable with it being top 10 if this offense was better this year. Too, many, uh, uh, too much on the field for the defense. Yards per game, still good. Takeaways, though, not very good. Only 18. Tied for 25th. Sacks, middle of the pack. Uh, third down defense was very good as well, but you got to turn the football over defensively. You've got to force takeaways, and the Bears were unable uh, to do that at a consistent enough clip this past season. Hopefully that happens uh, at a better clip in 2021, but to just say that uh, it just needs a, a minor tune-up, I, I think it needs a little more. I think you need some slight... Uh, uh, not, not, not major adjustments, but at least like some noticeable adjustments. Blitz more, like I said. Will the Bears' defense be better or worse next season? I'm still excited for Sean Desai. This isn't dump on Sean Desai day. It's very possible he was just being nice about Chuck Pagano, someone he very much admires and looks up to as a coach. I think he'll be better. Type B for better. Type W for worse. Let me know what you guys think about the Bears' defense this next season.